This might seem like an odd video coming from someone who makes art courses for a living, but so be it. I'm just gonna go ahead and ask. Are you binge watching art courses and art tutorials? Maybe just a little bit? I'm not judging. That's not the purpose of this video. I'm guilty of this and I especially was as a beginner. I spent so much time watching art classes because I thought there was critical information there and I needed to cram my head full of it. And sure, I learned a lot of helpful tips and techniques. Some of them I even tried out and worked into my own practice. But I would estimate that 80% of it just went right through my head and wasted my time and kept me from actually making progress. It feels good to watch a course or a tutorial. We feel like we're being given the answer or the magic trick. It almost feels like practice, but without the mess and the failed sketches and the uncomfortable reminders of how far away we are from our goals. But that's where the actual progress is made, though. In the mess of the practice. Nothing you learn in a course will be absorbed by your brain and perfectly implemented the next time you sit down to draw. Even if you manage to retain the information in your head, you're still going to struggle at first to put it into practice. Your hands need to learn too, not just your head. Besides, a course is just one person's way of acquiring a result that they like. They're probably teaching the techniques and philosophies that they have learned or have discovered on their own after years of practice. But there's no one right way to do anything in art. Just because a technique works for your favorite artist does not mean that it will work for you. You're still going to have to figure out your own way of doing things. Don't get me wrong, courses can be a good complement to practice, especially for a complete beginner, but it cannot replace it. And the more tutorials you watch, the more confused you'll probably be and the less time you will have for doing the work. We have a problem with information overload nowadays. There's just too much stuff online, too many people telling us what we should and shouldn't do. The challenge is not finding the information we need, it's filtering out all of the stuff we don't need. And to actually think for ourselves, to listen to our intuition. And the way that most content platforms are built is kind of making it worse. Take Skillshare, for example. It's a platform that I use both as a student and as a teacher. There are thousands of classes on Skillshare and more are being added every day. Is that a good thing? Well, yeah, variety is good. It increases the likelihood of each person finding just the right thing for them. But what I noticed in myself when I first signed up for Skillshare is that I got really overwhelmed by how much content there was. It's like a huge all-you-can-eat buffet and you kind of feel pressured to eat as much as humanly possible to, you know, get maximum value for your money. So I mostly just ended up hoarding classes and binge watching them and barely having the time and peace of mind to do the exercises because I just wanted to get on to the next class. It's like the more learning resources I have access to and feel like I need to get through, the worse my attention span is and the less likely I am to actually use what I've learned. I recently took a course from an artist that I admire and really want to learn from. It was a pretty lengthy course and it was via another course platform that sadly have adopted the same subscription-based all-you-can-eat buffet type of model. I was excited at first. Finally, a really solid, thorough course that would really teach me these skills, as opposed to all of the quick 30-minute classes on Skillshare. Well, only a few hours into this multiple-week curriculum, I became very restless. I procrastinated on doing the exercises, I mostly just wanted to get through the course as quickly as possible to save money on subscription fees. And my own art practice suffered as well since I didn't have as much time to sit down and just draw. All of this stressed me out and in the end I could have learned almost as much by just watching this artist's work and trying to imitate it, experimenting with his techniques in my own practice. I'm not saying this to discredit this artist or his excellent course. This is a discredit to me and my ability to absorb learning material. And I don't think I'm alone in feeling this way. We're all 
swimming in our tips and tutorials with too little time and energy for our own practice. Maybe what we need is not another course, but simply more time in our studio, in our practice bubble, just making our art and learning from our mistakes. So again, ask yourself, do I really need another course or am I just looking for an easier solution? My guess is that you do know what you need to work on and you know how to practice it. You just don't trust yourself to figure it out on your own. But trust me, you will. With enough practice, you will figure out your way of reaching the results that you like, with or without courses to help you. And look, if you're a complete beginner artist with no grasp of the fundamentals and no idea where to even start, then a course is a good idea. A course, not five or ten. You don't need 30 different classes on drawing the human figure in all of its anatomical detail. It doesn't matter if they're free or included in your subscription. Don't make the same mistake I made. Don't overwhelm yourself. Think about what you actually need right now and take baby steps to learn it. Focus on one skill at a time, be very selective of your learning resources, and spend the majority of your time putting what you have learned into practice. Because that's the only way you're ever going to get better. You won't even be able to absorb most of the stuff you see in courses if you're not also putting in the work. For every hour that you spend watching tutorials on YouTube or classes on Skillshare or other course platforms, spend at least three hours practicing and simply making art. Maybe start your session by practicing on your own and afterwards reward yourself by watching some course content. Because it's all too easy to get sucked into the binge watching cycle and just end up wasting your precious art making time. Well, those are my two cents. What are yours? Let me know in the comments. And if you are a total beginner and you are looking for a suitable beginner's course that's not too long and that keeps things very simple and practical, I have one for you. It's called Pencil Sketching for Beginner Artists and it teaches you the very basic principles of sketching technique. How to draw what you see quickly and accurately. And we're focusing on animal sketching, so if that's your thing, you might really enjoy these exercises. The course is only around 40 minutes long and you can get it for 20 bucks via the link in the description. You can also find it on Skillshare, the choice is yours, but I have decided to make my art courses available as standalone versions for this very reason that I've just talked about, to help artists avoid overwhelm and course binging syndrome. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see each other in another video.